I'm Kerry Tomlinson, and we have a very special guest today here on Ampere News, a big celebrity. Joining us by phone is Morgan Freeman, the actor. Morgan, welcome to Ampere News. Thank you for having me on your show, Kerry. I'm actually a big fan of yours. True story. Wow. Thank you so much. Well, we're talking about deep fakes, and this is a problem for you. People deep fake you a lot. Well, yes, they do. I have a deep and calming voice. That's why people try to fake it. In fact, they are faking it right now. And actually a deep fake. What? True story. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. Well, now, Mr. Deep Fake Morgan Freeman, now that you're here, let's talk about this. Four ways that people can tell if a voice is real or deep fake. In other words, computer generated. Let's try it. I made deepfake Morgan Freeman in a few seconds with a free site online. You got this, Morgan. It's very imperfect. I'm a big fan of your news. Im. Sometimes doppelganger Morgan goes off the rails. Lovely to be here. Lovely to be here. Lovely to be here. Uh-oh. Lovely to be here. Lovely to be here. Morgan's going a little bit crazy. <laughs> but criminals are using better software advertising their fake voice services to other criminals on the underground web and using them in real life. Hi, Pedro. In this voice message, an attacker pretends to be a CEO. This is and I need your immediate assistance to finalize an urgent business deal. In 2019, a thief using a deep fake voice posed as a German CEO down to the accent and mannerisms and convinced his counterpart in the UK to send off almost a quarter million dollars. In 2020, it was 35 million. This time, the crooks posed as a company director, calling a bank manager in Hong Kong and persuading them to send off money with the sound of a familiar voice. That voice created with deepfake technology. We need to learn the signs of a fake before we get that call. What do you listen for when you see or hear something that might be an audio deepfake? What do you listen for? Deepfake researcher Sui Liu shows us this example with former President Barack Obama. Today I'd like to overview. I can say something and I can put my voice through that, feed my voice into that software and it will create Obama's voice, speaking the same word I spoke and with the same kind of emotion I have. I think it's one of the most exciting fields in artificial intelligence. Fake Obama gives us our first clue. Number one, slurring. The exciting field of deep reinforcement learning. I noticed that, you know, it's not perfect. So you can hear a little bit slurring there, you know, how, each words are clearly articulated, you know, are, are they intelligible? The exciting field of deep reinforcement learning. Number two, naturalness. Check out this low quality deep fake of Betty White. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Does it sound natural? No, put your hands up, up in the club. Now put your hands up, up in the club. Huh? If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, oh, oh. Better software will produce more realistic results, but these give you an idea of what to listen for. Does the voice carry the kind of emotion that is right for the context, for the environment? Are there any particular terms that, you know, sounds funny? Those kind of things. If you don't, you'll be alone. And like a ghost, I'll be gone. If you don't, you will be alone. And like a ghost, I'll be gone. Number three, background noise. Sway uses this fake of Russian President Vladimir Putin to explain. Situation in um, you probably also hear this kind of noise, like a recording noise there. Like a high frequency uh, cracking noises where you probably only heard when you have the, the old days radio or, you know, walkie-talkie, you heard those voices. Here is real audio of Putin. Here again is the fake. Do you think the average person who is not a researcher like you would be able to detect an audio deep fake? 
I think, yeah, I think everyone could. There is one more. Leia Schoenhea and her team from Germany have created a database of deepfake voices for researchers to study because currently there is so little research in this area. In the process, they discovered an important clue. Yes, yeah, so we found that there are differences, so mainly in the higher frequencies of speech. Some of the deep fakes are missing the higher frequencies. Number four, then, is fullness. The voice may sound less full to you than a real voice. You really have to listen actively. Leia uses a spectrogram to detect it. Let's see if we can hear it with our own ears. A throng of people whom neither rain, snow, storm, nor darkness ever hindered from attending the show. A throng of people whom neither rain, snow, storm, nor darkness ever hindered from attending the show. Slurring, naturalness, background noise, fullness, real audio, deep fake audio. If you want the velvet, you got to bring the silver. If you want the velvet, you got to bring the silver. Plus, the researchers say, pay attention to the context. Context. Is the voice saying something unusual? Is it asking for sensitive things like money or passwords? How can you verify the info independently? This faux Betty White might not fool you. But deepfakes are getting easier to make with software that's fairly easy to use. Don't you think, Morgan? Right. Fake voices that are just a little more sophisticated than these might just pass as real. You are real to me, Morgan. Use cross-validation, cross-check everything, right? So it requires us to slow down, use common sense, be critical, that is like the final line of defense for this kind of thing. So it just needs a little bit more critical thinking, patience. Morgan, deepfake or not, thank you for joining us. And I understand you have one last message for people. I have something to say, or rather sing. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cringe. Right. Deep Bake Morgan Freeman with the Rick Roll. I'm Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.